Hi there and welcome. I wanted to share with you a bit of my process in working on this painting in hopes that it might inspire you or help you along your path as an artist or just give you something to relate to when I talk about the struggles that I had during this painting. This painting began as two separate photographs that I merged together. My two dogs love to take walks along this quiet gravel road near our home. We live in a very small village in Germany and the view of the sunset over the hills is absolutely beautiful. But for this painting, I decided to relocate the sunset instead of over the hills, I moved the sun over the road. So we'd have a little bit different feeling and overall look for the painting. I began this painting as I usually do with a light sketch in pencil and then blocking in the basic areas of color. I do this to make sure that I'm happy with the overall composition of the painting and to begin to establish the feeling for the painting and give me a sense of direction. The feeling is the most important to me. I base the composition, the colors, and the details off the overall feeling that I'm trying to achieve. In this painting, I wanted to convey a feeling of calm and peacefulness uh, in the sun over the road and the, the quietness of the area. I only use oil paints, so for this base layer, I use liquid medium to thin out the paint a bit and to speed up the drying time so I can move on to the next layer of paint. I don't have a specific brand of paints or paint brushes that I prefer. I have an accumulation of, of supplies of paints and brushes that I've collected over the years, some still from the very beginning of when I started painting, which was probably only about 10 years ago.
I work on the sky, I wanted to match the overall colors of the photograph and then really just take it from there and let my creativity take over and see where the paint and the painting guided me. You'll see me move back and forth between lights and darks, establishing different areas of color, making sure they complement each other and work together. And also I blend and then I go back and reestablish the edges of the clouds until it starts to make sense and starts to look like that feeling that I'm trying to create.
When working on the field and the road, I struggled a bit to find the right balance of color and texture and to make everything work together. So I found myself in certain parts having too much texture and then smoothing things out and then going back and reestablishing texture and color until the, both the road and the grassy field uh, felt like what it was I was trying to convey and to make sense in the overall composition with the sky and the balance of the smooth, soft sky. Once I was able to move past a few stumbling blocks with the road and the grassy field and get the, the colors and the textures to all start to work together, I was able to think about those finishing touches and the details that I wanted to add, like the wooden fence. You'll see me go back and forth between adding highlights and shadows on the fence posts. They're very old wood and so they have a lot of texture and really catch the sun and also uh, those shadows as well. So I wanted that to really stand out in the painting, as well as make sure that the brush in the background and the tree in the foreground all made sense together. So they have enough highlight to show their place in the painting, but they're not necessarily the focal point of the painting. I also wanted that shadow on the road to relate to the tree in the foreground as well as the sun uh, and to make sure that that didn't overpower the composition, but it is a focal point.
Overall, this painting took way longer to complete than I anticipated. It was actually about seven hours from start to finish. I hope you enjoyed the painting and watching this unfold. I certainly enjoyed sharing this process with you in this painting. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me in the comment section below or on Facebook or Instagram, as well as my website. All those links are in the description. Please consider subscribing to my channel as I continue to grow my channel. I greatly appreciate your support. Uh, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will have another painting for you soon. I actually have already started the next one, so that will be coming soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.